we start off by asking ourselves the question why should anyone bother about hr data analysis that would be the very first question that anybody would ask or anybody would be interested why should i bother ah interestingly uh, i have some reasons here i will get to the point where we need to ask us a few reasons why do you think you are bothering why do you think you are interested why are you really interested in this concept so starting up um before now in the past uh hr people are already <laughs> they rely majorly on understanding gut feeling as we call it oh i've been doing hr for donkey years so i know hr i understand hr you don't need to tell me about how to decisions within hr interestingly uh they they do that and they they make decisions even to their stakeholders business owners and they make those decisions based on gut feeling but those days are long gone and a survey uh, that was performed by shrm society for human resource management uh in a particular white paper they released called use of work workforce analytics for competitive advantage they say survey evidence shows that hr's credibility as starts to increase when they use data to make decisions that's a survey backed up so it's not gut feeling <laughs> so i'm not giving you gut feeling interestingly i'm going to be releasing some interesting statistics in this class because i cannot use gut feeling to teach a class on hr data analysis i need to back it up with data so every single conversation i'm going to be having in the class today will be backed up with a bit of evidence and the first evidence is from shrm saying survey evidence show that hr's credibility increases as it starts using data to inform its decision so as an hr professional a business owner a business leader and you are in this room it is very critical that you need to start to use data within your decision making process as an hr professional hr leader whatever stage of hr you are hr data analysis will not only help you to diagnose and solve people problems that's not the only thing it's going to do it's going to take you a little bit further it would help you make the hr function and yourself look good and help you to positively impact the organization's bottom line gone are the days where hr people feel that they are just ire and fire gone are the days when hr people think that they are not supposed to have a seat at the table they already have a seat at the table for your seat at the table to be substantial then you need to use data very critical data is very critical for you to use to make decisions because it's going to impact the bottom line organizations are looking at cost today organizations are looking at revenue organizations are looking at competitive advantage and the only business the only language that businesses understand is numbers so as an hr professional that you are in this room i congratulate you that you're in the room because it means that you are ready to take your hr career to the next level very critical hr data analysis provides a way to demonstrate the linkage between people and business outcomes people on one side business outcome on the other side the connection point between is hr data analysis very critical why hr data analysis again one hr data analysis is taking raw data creating useful information out of it that's the summary of what i've said so far take the raw data create useful information there is a lot of talk about big data algorithm automation however the value of data is limited if there is no extract of information and insight 
there is a strong need for people capable of interpreting the data extracting valuable information from the data and turn that information into insight for better business decisions which can lead to competitive advantage why are we having this session today that is why we're having this session there is a strong need for people to interpret the data to extract valuable information from it and to turn the information into valuable insight